everybody welcome back to some more custom robo here uh, we just headed home we just kind of blew a gig but also not really we we were supposed to like do a bounty hunt obviously but at the same time the guy was already gone because the barkeep ordered like another bounty hunt squad to come in because our boss was like sitting in the cafe and writing poetry and he was like how can you dress like a sulky man like this to take care of a bounty you know what i mean like our boss kind of screwed himself here ring oh god be calling this early in the morning yeah dude it's not even our landlady <laughs> waking us up this time hey dog it's me harry you awake uh harry yeah morning i'm up what's going on Showtime partner, seems like there's a robo fight at the Damon Chinese restaurant. Is it Daimon? Ernest wants us there ASAP. There, you mean the office? Nah, he wants us to go straight to Daimon. That does not sound Chinese to me. <laughs> the thing at the thing at Bogus yesterday has been bugging him, so he said he'd meet up with us there. Oh, Alright, got it. Daimon, right? Coolio, see you there. Too bad they always force us to change our clothes. I would just go there in my pajamas, that would be hilarious. They underestimate us and then that's when they get slapped. Dude, she's, she's really like brushing that lawn every day, right? Ah, you scared me. What happened? You woke up on your own? No, no, Harry called me. I've got work to do. Oh, and I was so proud of you for having woken yourself up for once, but you didn't. Oh well. Oh uh, yeah, right. Look, I have to go. I have to get to the Diamond Chinese restaurant. Oh, Diamond? That place is the best. The owner's a great chef. His name is Dendai Don. Alright. What a name. Tell him I sent you. He, he can make anything. Ramen, gyoza, fried rice, sour pork, egg and mayonnaise pizza. Half of those don't sound Chinese at all. Oh, it sounds delicious. I'm making myself hungry. <laughs> so where is Diamond? You don't know? Just go north and a little east. I trust the world map will know. Just go north and a little east. Oh, I think I know what place it actually is here, there, right? I think I even commented on this looking like a Chinese structure before. Okay, is this like a crime scene or something? Why are you just standing around that guy? You're late. Things have gotten pretty bad here. Alright. Hey boss, what's up? Ah, oh, Doc, you're here. You were too late, it seems. Poor guy. He was dead before we arrived? He just uh, murdered somebody here? Looks like mental shock must have killed him. Dude, that is dark as heck. He can take real physical damage in a robo battle. Okay, it seems safe. Alright. But it takes a tremendous amount of stress to actually kill someone. Uh, I go to all the trouble of coming here in person and this is what I get. What up, Chinese man? How oh, could this have happened? It's terrible. Alright, thanks for the info. Marsha, you have some useful stuff for me here? Oh, it was already too late when we arrived. Hmm. Hands up, this is the police. Harry, what are you doing here? We got a call but it came too late. Whatever happened, it was over before we got here. Ah, bounty hunters, bruh. I've got it from here, so why don't you all beat it? Say what? I've got a job to do and you bounty hunters aren't part of it. Oh, is that so? Sure, you show up for these cases, but for the small ones, you don't even bother. Now, it's easy for you to say. You bounty hunters are free to pick your missions, but we police have far more responsibility. Where's the law when regular average folks need it, huh? Can't be bothered, is that it? Deep theme, dude. You're not looking after the people who need you. Uh, why do I even waste my time on a waster like you? You're nothing like your sister. Are uh, you? Leave it, Harry. It's out of your hands now. Harry, let's go. Come on, Doc. Wait, you got a minute? Roy, according to the witness, the victim was fighting some sort of autonomous robo. 
What did you say? And when it killed the victim, it fled the scene. Sounds like trouble. You really don't have a clue what's going on, do you? I kind of do, that means there wasn't a commander, right? That's why I didn't pick that option. An autonomous robot moves it itself without having any commander dive into it. Who would have thought? It was designed for manual and repetitive labor. I've never heard of one that fights, though. Alright. Kind of surprised, like... They're using robots for labor? They're so small, though. What do they do, like... Like... Fold cardboard boxes or something like that? Which is why I have to ask you for a favor, Marsha. Uh, which is why I have to ask you for a favor, Marsha. I need your help. What, me? You know what I'm going to ask you. I need you to do the half dive and read the victim's last thoughts. You can dive into a person? Is that what you're telling me? What? Please, I'm begging you. For your power, we should be able to find some clue we can use. But... Hey Roy, ask you to help. What? Why should I have to beg this mercenary nobody to help us in our investigation? An excellent point and well made. But if, for example, you had even a fraction of a skill and power, maybe you wouldn't have to. So swallow your foolish pride and do it. But... Uh, Marsha, please. Call that asking a respected fellow law enforcer to help? Say it like you mean it. What? Shut it, Harry. Marsha, business is business. If you think you can take it, then give the cops a hand. I don't know, Ernest. I haven't done a half dive in so long, I'm not even sure I can still. Well, I'm not sure I'm following this, but I don't think Marsha can help out here. I know, but we need her help. There's no one else we can turn to. Marsha will understand if you can't do it and we won't blame you if you fail, so please help us. Alright, let me concentrate. Uh, what the heck is a half dive? So Marsha dives partway into a robo. She's the only person who can do this. Why would you only do like a partway dive though? Remember what I told you a while back? Marsha had a special power since she was young. Marsha can dive into a rowboat that's already been registered by eye contact. Doesn't mean she can control a pre-registered robot though. Oh, so that's why it's called a half dive, because she can kind of only like read the data or something. However, she's able to read the commander's remaining cognition, alright. Very convenient. So whatever the commander saw through his robot's eyes, she sees. You can even read that guy's last thoughts. Kinda gruesome, huh? Only thing is when she does this, I'm starting. Marsha, what's wrong? What happened? Well, oh, calm down, I'll explain later. Marsha, how'd it go? What do you find out? The victim wasn't fighting a custom robo. What do you mean? It didn't look like a robo, I've never seen anything like it. It was like a living thing. That's ridiculous. No living thing can enter a Holoceum. You're right, it's just not possible. But everything about it is so different. It doesn't move like a robot, it doesn't even look like one. Do you see what it was? Only vaguely, it's just... Ah oh, well, I've heard enough, there's no way that could happen. Shut up, Roy. Marsha, what? Just what? I've never felt such overwhelming power before. Come with us to HQ. We want to make a composite sketch of the robo you saw. Hey, whoa there. Look at her, Marsha's in bad shape. The stress of the half-dive is getting to her. Now you see what she has to go for every time she does this? Well, we're sorry about that, but as a citizen, she must comply with any and all police squad orders. Roy, we are asking for the cooperation, not the resentment. Be civil. Forgive me. As if, look at you, barking like a dog, but still taking orders from my own sister, loser. Harry, you're out of line. Thank you for your hard work, Marsha. You must understand that this is extremely important and we desperately need your help. I know you're feeling a little weak, 
but we won't ask you to do anything strenuous, I promise. So please, would you come with us to police HQ and tell us more about what you saw? They're playing like good cop, bad cop, you know? What, to police HQ? Marsha, you're right. You can rest up if you're not feeling up to it. No, I'll go. I want to go. I'm... I'm fine. Just don't overexert yourself. We'll wait for you back at the office, alright? Well, Mira, take care of Marsha. Harry, Doc, let's go. You say so. Would it be nice if I got to do anything, just saying. This is actually a little refreshing that at least right now we're not the most useful member of our association immediately, you know what I mean? Like, we don't start as a newbie and then it's like, wow, you have overwhelming power and skill and you beat all the bad guys and stuff like that, at least. I think that's still coming, right? But they're kind of building up to it, maybe? What's taking Marsha so long? I wonder if she's okay. Marsha will be fine. She's got a strong will. She's not like you. Ah, uh, that's not nice. But how come Marsha was so willing to help those cops? I mean, she hardly argued at all. I... Didn't you listen to her? She wants to be one, right? Say, Harry, what's so special about a half dive? Why can't anyone else do it? I don't know much about it. It's a rare talent. I've never met anyone else who can do a half dive. Really? But there might be others. I've never even heard about half dives before. Well, according to my sis, Marsha's the only commander alive today who can do a half dive. Wow, she's pretty extraordinary, isn't she? Well, she's something, alright, but it doesn't sound all that great. Her power makes her extremely sensitive, emotionally speaking, I mean. How so? For example, do you ever have times when there's something on your mind? Don't you get worried? Well, in Marsha's case, take those worries and multiply them by a hundred. She gets so stressed out, she just freezes. Oh god, that must be horrible, man. That's pretty sensitive, I mean, that's one way to put it. Yeah, she's been like that ever since she was a child. That's why she seems so distant, she needs a distance. Yeah, she needs a distance to keep from getting hurt by people, okay? See, it's like this, Marsha's big brother always used to protect her. Wow, that's rough. Being that sensitive and losing both your parents and your brother? Yeah, she really saw the hit rock bottom. It took a lot of work for Marsha to get where she is now. Hey, that's enough out of you. If I even catch you guys treating her differently because of this, I'll lop you both up good. Hey, it's the phone. Maybe it's Marsha. Steel hearts, you squeal? Real deal. This is Ernest. Ah, bogey. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I knew he was a wanted man. I, I forgot my robo. That's why I couldn't catch him on the spot. What? Oh, I get it. Gave Dark Blue the job yesterday, so now you're handing one down to us today? Thank you. You're absolutely right. I'm a very loyal customer. Your cafe has a great atmosphere. Oh, you're starting a poetry slam night? What makes you think I write poetry? Oh, you saw that? Well, I'll send the boys over right now. Alright, we've got work. Get over to Bogis Pronto. Seems like there's some guy making a killing on battle wages. Bogi said the guy's incredibly strong and he's gonna put Bogi out of business if this keeps up. You're not coming, Ernest? I don't think so. I, f I feel like bad luck right now, you know? Especially after seeing that guy at Dendai Dons. Besides, they got some light filling to do around the office. And by they I mean me. I've got some light filling to do. And with filling I mean filing. Oh yeah, sure. Hurry up. I'll send Marsha over when she returns. Alright, if you say so. So to Bogies. Bogies cafe was somewhere down here, I think. Was it? Oh yeah, here. Sorry, just had to yawn big time there. Thanks for the call, Bogie. Steel hearts at your service. Well, hello! Look who it is. The Joker. Been waiting for you, Harry, and you too, Doc. I'm the Joker, baby. Oh great, is this Joker again? Me? 
I'm sure it's mere coincidence I'm here. We thought we could use some nice tea after all your hard work. And we found a man in need. We would have resolved the situation right away, but Bogey insisted that we give you Steel Hearts fellows a fair shot. And fair is fair, of course. So we're waiting till you screw up before we take over. Fair is fair? Bogey called us, not you. This is our job. Oh, please, Harry. Are you even listening? We are mercenaries. The job goes to the fastest team. But we are a generous group. We dark blue mercenaries. We'll fight for it. How about a 2 on 2 battle? Fight for what? It's our job. You're just trying to steal it out from under our feet. Now that's rude. We thought we'd show some courtesy by waiting for you to arrive. You ought to be grateful. This will be a golden learning opportunity for you. Pay attention while I'm beating you down. Ah, oh, this guy's getting on my nerves. Hey doc, we've got to rip him apart. Oh, just let me at him, dude. I'll do the ripping. I'm afraid our victory is already secured. The actual fight itself is a mere formality, but if you wish... Sorry, Bogey, but we've got a score to settle here. Just wait a sec, okay? Well, I don't care. Just so long as someone takes care of my problem, alright? Let me tell a little bit more about 2 on 2 battles. In a 2 on 2 battle your partners, gunshots and charges won't hurt you, that's good to know. However, you still take damage if you get hit by your partner's pot or bomb blast, alright? Got it? I got it, dude. Okay, full throttle, let's rip him to shreds. That's what I like to hear, bro. Let me just take a sip from my water, you're feeling a little stuffy today. Ah, that's better. And then what we got here? Two enemies. What if I go to opponent data? Got a juggler and a metal ox. Alright. Can I check like their... Their whatever? I cannot check the parameters, right? I can only check them like this. So metal grappler, I fought a strong offense and defense. Poor mobility makes dodging attacks difficult. Can air dash once. And a juggler. It's a trick flyer, alright. I thought so. It seems like a good combo. Very agile while airborne, extremely slow on the ground. Hmm, maybe I should take him out first. I think their HP is the same regardless. Would be nice if, like, the Metal Ox or the Metal Grappler models had, like, more HP and the Trick Flies had less or something, you know what I mean? Try to land somewhere, maybe like there. I think we are red, right? Oh wow, one of them got up like real quick. Okay, so we are going on green here. Yeah, that's actually the trick flyer, dude. What's this arena? There's like conveyor belts. I actually have to get back into into the control scheme here. Okay, let's see whether we can can't just blast the heck out of this Joker right there. Dude, those two on two fights are so hectic, man. Uh, like, what the heck is going on? Let's see, like, it's just pelted him a little here. Oh, yeah, he can stay in the air for so long. It's a little problematic, man. He's got good dodging capabilities. I'm trying to hit him with one of those close range strikes. Oh damn, like he actually downed me too. I just need to find my blaster more, I think. Down, dude. Blink. Down, we almost got that one. Yes, one of them is down. Now the second one. I'll just blast him when you get in close. Oh, now it's me against him. Got him. Wow, they actually downed Harry, man. But it worked. You now have access to the left flank bomb H, alright? And the faint pot F. I think I have to read up like a guide on what to look out for in custom robo or something. I'm still a little bit lost. I just tried to like make up with skill. I didn't actually want to say that. I just want to say I just make up 
trying to make up with cheesing the robot, like hiding behind walls and like spamming my blaster basically. <laughs> Accelerating. How best to measure one's skill than to permit him a victory. And did you learn something too? Well, I certainly hope you succeed in this mission. You look like you're in need of a less shabby wardrobe. The clothes make the man after all, shall we go? Dude, you look like you just came out of like a freaking tuna factory if you're like fish scale outfit. That jerk can't even own up to the fact that we beat him. <laughs> yeah, that's right, he's actually probably a really sore loser. Anyway, that was a nice waste of our time. I would better get back to work. Oh, okay, Bogey, where can we find this guy you're after? Past that door here. It's nice of him to not just leave immediately. Door? I don't see a door. It must be like a secret door, right? Or oh, that's a false wall. There's a door hidden there. We hold robo battles in the back room. Anyway, this guy's been winning every match and I'm losing money. Hold on. Did you just say you're hosting gambling matches? That's illegal, man. Yeah, we learned about that before, right? Or, uh, well, I mean, that is illegal. Uh, what is illegal anyway? I mean, such a vague term, you know? I get it. That's why you called us instead of the cops. You didn't want to get busted. Uh, maybe when you're older, you'll understand. Listen, don't tell anyone, okay? What's in for me? <laughs> I told you, like, I'm going to play the bastard route this time, right? Like, just snarky and a bad person. As bad as you can be, I suppose. I mean, I can be quiet about it or I can be real noisy. Hey, don't be like that. You'll be paid well if you pull this job off, right? Doc, just keep your mouth shut. It'll be easy on us all. You know what I mean? Well, I appreciate your discretion. Dude, this is not how business works, Harry. Didn't you read, like, how to... Make friends and influence people or something like that? Anyway, get in there and talk to the waiter. I'm really counting on you here. I do the job and then report him to the police. Just... <laughs> double sell, man. Should chat up the crowd for some info before we sign up. Okay, if you say so. Keep betting on the underdog, but China keeps beating them. I'll never break even now. The guy over there hasn't placed one bet, he's just been sitting there watching the battles. What's he even doing here? China's been winning all of the matches, so it's no fun to bet. That's why it's so slow today, alright? Today just ain't my day. I barely break even if I bet on China and he's the odds on favorite. But nobody's gonna beat China, so there's no point in betting on anyone else. Are you sure about it? Let me just get the party first. Left flank bomb, alright. And the faint pond F. Dude, I really like the music and the clicking noises and that they showcase the model actually instead of just so showing us the text here. If you enter the battle tournament, you can win it big, but you can get pretty badly hurt too. That sounds mightily illegal to me. Okay, hello man. And talk to you again. Nope. So what do I do here now? They're not in the egg with this Holosseum. Keep betting on the underdog, blah blah blah. Ah, there's a guy here. It was kind of out of view here. You must bear in dog, Boggy told me you're coming. Are you ready to fight? No, not yet. I need some time to talk to all the creeps around here first. I understand. I'll still be here when you're ready. Oh, there's another guy, okay. Stranger. Hmm. I'm entering the next tournament. I probably bump into one of you depending on how they mix up the entries. Pardon me, but are you the one who's been winning all the matches? Got the wrong person, but you want to talk to Shiner. It's in the waiting room right now with the other combatants. The waiting room? Is there a room like behind you? Oh, is there? No, I don't see any waiting room. Can I enter now? Okay, he told me you're coming. There will be 16 commanders. I was just making the entry list for the next tournament. I'm determining your entry position now. Hold on a moment. Let me just take another sip from my glass of water here. 
Thank you for waiting. Harry's number 16 and Dog is number 9. Which one's been winning all the matches? That would be Shine entry number 1. I see, he's number 1, I'm number 16, Doc is number 9. Dang, according to this we won't get a chance to face him until he, the finals. And that means that Doc and I have to fight each other in the semi-finals, can't we change? Sorry, everything is done by computers, it's totally random, I can't change your number for you. If I start messing around with the numbers, I guess we'll think I'm fixing the matches. But I thought Boggy set this up for us. Oh man, well I guess you'll just have to win your tournament. Please wait here, I'll call you when it's your turn. Please wait here? Are you ready to go? Oh, so you mean, by waiting you mean I just talk to you again? Make sure you check the parts generated before the match. So I'm ready man. Let's start. Good, then we'll begin. First battle will be Dog vs Polly. Go for a dog, don't worry, I've got tons of advice to get you through this. Well, hang on a sec, two against one, that's not fair. Should be disqualified, I win by default. Hey chill, I'm not fighting, I'm just watching. Hang on, aren't you a cop? What's an upright member of the police squad like yourself doing in a place like this? Shh, not so loud, how could you tell? The dude that says police on the front of your chest, man. Doesn't he know he's wearing his uniform? Wait a minute. You're those guys who busted the lab burglary. You must have recognized by distinctive features. More like your distinctive uniform, your cops all look the same to me. So wait, that means you're one of those guys the burglars beat up. And you're one of those guys who shuts up. Insurance didn't cover any of my bills, so I'm trying to make some scratch on the side, okay? Dude, we're all just hustling here, don't sweat it, man. Listen, guys. I'm sure you've got lots to catch up on, but we're trying to hold a tournament here. I'm gonna do better this time. I'm in it for the money. You know whatever you say, sport. Okay, my advice for you is to beat this guy up. But good. This guy's using a Strike Vanisher model, let me explain. Like the Shining Fighter, the Strike Vanisher model's abilities are well balanced. But the biggest difference is that it has a stealth function. Wow, that sounds actually pretty cool. If you do an air dash, this function will make your robo disappear. Dodging incoming gunfire. But compared to a shining fighter model, it moves slowly. If you're going to use a strike vanisher, take advantage of its stealth ability to dodge gunfire. Got it? <laughs> nope, why? No, I got it. Okay, and one more thing. There's a Holoseum called the Diamond Cell that the police squad uses. There's a magma zone in that Holoseum, so be careful. Magma zone? Yeah, it's a red area. You'll take a lot of damage if you go into that area. I think we've seen it before. Against a married couple, I think. Good. How's that firing you though? You're not a crook, but you're fighting a cop. Comedy. I mean, right now we're kind of crooks, right? We're like protecting illegal business. Alright. Let's see, what do we got here? Faint F. Close target sideways. Uh, can deploy two pots at the same time. They stop in front of the target. Got anything else here? Don't think so. Here we got the long press legs. Didn't we get like a new bomb or something? The left flank one, yeah. Launches left, then turns right. Blows target slowly sideways. The direction of the bomb changes when launched from the air. Adjust your force movements and fire from both the ground and air. Don't really get it, man. We got a freeway blast here. We could switch for the vertical one. I think I'm gonna keep it like it is. This loader has been treating us pretty well, I think. Oh, they got magma zones in the corners here, right? I want to be like somewhere like there. Okay, let's go, dude. Oh, he just starts blasting me. I want to dash into him, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. I say he's, he's slower, but he's not like significantly slower, man. Dude, let me shoot you. <laughs> I didn't do any damage to him yet. 
Wow, okay. There's one strong cop, man. Come on, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> dude, like, I need to concentrate a little bit here, maybe the commentary will get a little bit slow. Yes, I hit him with one of the big ones, man. Down, just, just blast him. I'm down. <laughs> man down. Dude, he's down. Finish him. Ah, oh, damn. He got me. He had 23 HP. Mm. You lose. Wow. It's the first time. Yeah, no one's gonna beat me now. Now there's prize money at stake. This guy's using a Strike Vanisher model, okay, just, so it just sends you back. You don't, you don't really get the game over screen, you just get set back to the beginning of the dialogue, that's interesting. Kind of weird. Because your loss doesn't really have a consequence, right? Okay, come on, we can do this. I just don't need to suck so much at the beginning of the match. See, where will he launch? I will try to launch like here. Come on, dude. Yes. And then hit him with some speed bombs. Heck yeah, dude. Now jump and fire. <laughs> Just launch some bombs when he's at long range. No, that was, that was a good hit actually. But what about this? I think maybe I should switch my long range rocket things for something that hits directly when they are down. Oh, the, he got those homing things, man. They're pretty gnarly, actually. Ah, he's down. Now slash him. <laughs> I think it's a pretty good tactic when they're down to just hit him with the melee thing. Come on. Just a little bit more. Got him. You see, that's the difference. Like, when you play well, I would almost like to say. Was it well played? I have no idea. You now have access to the javelin. Alright, that sounds grand actually. Now saving. Thank goodness. Why couldn't I have drawn an easier first match so much for paying my bills? Okay guys, let's see, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Next time we'll probably finish this little tournament. I hope I don't get my ass whooped all the time, like from now on. But for now I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel and myself out a lot. Uh, have a nice day. I'll see you next time and bye-bye.